Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I'm your IT career guide. In today's video, I want to talk about if you should use brain dumps for studying when studying for the A plus certification. And so quite a few people use the A plus certification A to break into IT or to advance with their IT career. And um, the A plus certification exam is made out of two exams actually. And um, so there's uh, quite a challenge ahead of you in case you want to become CompTIA A plus certified. So should you use brain dumps to study for these exams? That's the question. But before we get into the nitty gritty of this question, uh, if you don't mind subscribing to my channel and um, also hitting the like button at the video, it will help me with the YouTube algorithm. So should you study with brain dumps or should you use brain dumps in general to become A plus certified? And um, really the quick answer is absolutely not. So what are brain dumps you may ask? And brain dumps exist in many areas. Here I'm talking specifically about brain dumps related to certification exams. Here really the uh, CompTIA A plus certification. Brain dumps are really coming from people or companies that send people to take the exam, memorize as many questions as possible, um, write down the questions after the fact, do the research on the um, potential answers and then sell the results as brain dumps with a guarantee that you will pass the exam. And if you have an exact copy of the questions and answers of uh, real exam questions, you gain an advantage, at least that what they want you to believe. So the answer really is like, no, you might pass the exam and maybe you get away with it, but in the end, you're doing yourself a disfavor because you will devalue the value of that certification. So let's assume you use a brain dump to become A plus certified. You spend one week memorizing the question and answers. You take the two exams and you pass with um, flying colors. It's great, now you're A plus certified. You put it on your resume, you get a job, the employer thinks you are A plus certified, and then they put you on the job and suddenly, everything falls down. The house of cards um, just uh, comes crumbling down because, well, you might be certified on paper, but you have not obtained the knowledge. You are not able to do the job. It will become visible quickly that you don't have what it takes, that you are definitely not worth the value of that certification. So that's one scenario. The second scenario here I want you to think about, let's assume everyone would do it. So now you have a whole army of people trying to get into IT that is A plus certified. And um, while they go into the um, world, they start finding jobs, they have the same experience as you did. They do not have the knowledge, they do not have the skill set, and the employers really start thinking the A plus certification is not a good um, hiring criteria anymore, and so they will ditch it. So what is the certification worth in that case for you? Probably nothing. These employers will go and find a different type of criteria to determine who is qualified, who is really an individual that has been trained and has the knowledge that they say they have on their resume. So here really where if, if everyone would use brain dumps, the value is driven down, the bar raises up and you might have more challenges to get your next job in IT or to move up. So just think about it from that level. So you want to really support the certification in a way where you make sure that A, you study, that you have the right knowledge and skill set. When you pass the exam, you know exactly why you pass it because you know everything, you studied it and um, you were um, fair and honest going into the exam. So really, from my perspective, if you use brain dumps to uh, pass um, a certification exam, I consider it cheating. There are some people that say, it's like, no, it's a great study material. You can read the questions, you do the research, and then you can just compare it with the answers that you get from the brain dumps. And I say that's a big load of BS. So um, that is really just um, an easy excuse and justifying why you are using brain dumps. So do not use brain dumps. Use test exams, um, pre preparation exams, stuff that you can buy from reputable sources, something that is not copied from the real world 
exams. So those are good study materials, but they also come usually with the right level of information and explain to you why the answer is a certain answer to a specific question. So um, with uh, brain dumps, you do not have this. And again, um, I do not consider it a valid study resource. In the end, you become lazy. You use the easy way out. Something happens in your life. You're running out of time. You really want that new job and you will use the brain dumps. Uh, the temptation is too big for most people. So um, just simply stay away from it. So I hope I was able to explain a little bit uh, why you should not use brain dumps to uh, use as study material or to not even study, to simply just memorize the question answers and then take the exams. You would be devaluing it. Uh, that's really the summary. You're cheating. You would be a cheater. And uh, once it uh, and if it would become no knowledge that you use brain dumps, well, guess what? CompTIA can actually revoke your certification. And you may say, okay, in three years it expires anyway, but you never know if you need to go back to CompTIA to obtain another certification. So um, that's really one thing you want to be aware of. Do not let you um, really uh, get into that situation that you have to worry about your certification. And um, that I think is just not worth it. So really use proper resources. Um, study, take the appropriate amount of time, make sure you understand it, make sure you ask questions. If you don't understand something, it's really important that you ask the questions and find somebody who can give you a qualified answer. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.